Basically, it's a tweet uh, by Evan uh, Sittery, and he, he reports, the Pistons plan to make an aggressive push for Cam Johnson, potentially a potentially hundred plus million dollar deal in free agency. That's what's expected to be offered. It says in quotations, Detroit can offer four years, $100 million comfortably, and a little bit more. Johnson has already a strong bond with new Pistons head coach Monty Williams. Uh, that's the explanation. Now, my opinion on it, and we've talked at, you know, we've talked Cam Johnson at, at Nauseam. We've talked a lot about him, and I think that's the number one guy for Pistons fans. When you talk about free agents, it's always Cam Johnson. He comes up first. He fits a position of need. He can shoot. There's familiarity there with Monty Williams. He would per play perfect alongside Cade, Ivy, Duran. But here's the question, though, Sam. Is he worth over $100 million for hmm. Cam Johnson? And I'll, and I'll ask you that question. There's the tweet. And, Sam, I'm going to start with you, and I'll go right. around the room to this. All right. You're Troy Weaver. You planning to make over a hundred million dollar offer sheet to Cam Johnson and for agency because you're going to have to overpay him to get him here. You definitely are going to have to overpay fifty million dollars. Not quite that much average <laughs> annual value, but Smokey, I get your point. And you know what? Absolutely, I'm making that type of an offer sheet to Cam Johnson. I am not thinking twice about it. You mentioned it before. Cam Johnson is an is a restricted free agent, so the Brooklyn Nets can match any offer, which means you have to overpay. But I think Cam Johnson at this stage of the Pistons rebuild would be a perfect complement to guys like Cade Cunningham, Jaden Ivey, Jalen Dern, particularly Jaden Ivey and Cade Cunningham, who are both emerging young playmakers who could use that three-point shooting wing in the corner or just to get open and play off ball. And I think Cam Johnson is that perfect candidate. And obviously we, we know that the Detroit Pistons have the cap space to make a big deal like that. And here's the thing. We all love Cade Cunningham, Jaden Ivey, and Jalen Duran, myself included. But here's the problem. Cade Cunningham, for his career, is a 31% three-point shooter. That's very, very bad. Jaden Ivey, despite showing a lot of promise towards the end of the year, ended the season as a 34% three-point shooter, which is average. Maybe a little below average. I wasn't mad about that percentage for Jaden Ivey, though. And Jalen Duran, we all know that's not part of his game. It may never be a part of his game. Cam Johnson for his career is a 39% three-point shooter, and that is a position that the Pistons desperately need. Last year, the only real reliable three-point shooters on the team were Boyan and Alec Burks to some extent.